Hello, Pastor Jose and Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. A church you can call home and also where we honor God, love family, serve others, and pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. So praise God. What do I do? I want to welcome you, NBC uh, Church, I mean family. Yes. And we want to welcome all visitors joining us by audio or video. Amen. So yes. praise God. Prepare yourselves. We're ready to blast off. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. We want, you know, he says we can soar as eagles, you know, not scratch with like chickens. And a lot of us are still scratching. A lot of us are still wallowing in the mud mm. with pigs, you know. He says, no, no, no. He says, I want you up high. Yes. Amen. And that's what yes. we need to do. Yeah. Don't see yourself the way you see yourself. See yourself the way he sees you. What do he sees you? He sees you a champion. Yes, he sees yes. you a winner. He sees yes. you an overcomer. Yes. So why haven't you stepped out yet? Step Amen. out in faith. Amen. Yes. Praise God. We can do all things. The Bible says we can do all things through him. So what do I want you to do? I want you to prepare yourself to receive yes. whatever God has for you. We have fellowship in the after service. And I'm preparing myself to receive whatever good food y'all brought. Amen. So listen, when the spiritual food is, is passed out, yeah. don't say, I don't need that, I don't need that. No, uh -huh. grab it. Amen. Say, I'm Amen. sorry, Lord. Yes. This is a buffet. I'm gonna man, yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna O D on it. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Get high on the oh most high. Gosh. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm excited on about you. And we're gonna be talking about victory is mine. If yes. you don't know it, you need to start confessing it. Amen. You know, <laughs> hallelujah. By, the word of God says that, uh, that, that, that the word of God, he says, I speak it and it goes out and accomplishes uh -huh. what it says, what yes. I tell it to do. That's it. So it's why it's so important that you watch your words and watch yes. your actions. That's it. But you, you got to speak them out, though. Uh -huh. Amen. Welcome, blessing. <laughs> Praise God. I'm excited. Let it roll off on you. Amen. <laughs> Grab your Bibles. Grab your sword, soldier yes, God. Yes, thank you, Lord. Warrior. We're, uh -huh. we're, we're warriors, not warriors, yes, okay? Yes, Some yes. of us got it backwards. <laughs> he didn't call us to worry. He calls us to be warriors yes, for him, yes, amen? Yes. Woo, come on. Praise God. I'm looking for a few devils, amen? <laughs> <laughs> Praise, God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Declaration. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking about God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is accepted. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. We've said it so many times, but you know where the battlefield is? The mind. It's so important that you feed your spirit, man, the Word of God. It's good that you renew your mind with the Word of God. Because the world, the enemy, and the world, uh -huh. and friends, and families, and whatever, they're going to bring negative stuff yes, to you. Yes. And you got to, you just got to wash it, give yourself a spiritual bath on, yes. a, on a daily basis, as often as possible. Yes. Renew your mind. Mm -hmm. What was it God wanted me to do today? Mm -hmm. Well, you got bombarded with all kinds of negative things, mm -hmm. and you lost track. Mm -hmm. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. I renew my mind to the things of God. Yes. Amen. I renew my mind because I want to accomplish what He wants me yes. to do. Not what just just what I want to do, That's but right. what He wants me to do. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise so praise God. God. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> some of us need to pick up our Bibles and <laughs> open them and read them more often. And say, well, God never talks to me. Well, you know what? Dust your Bible, open it up and read it. He's yes. telling you something. Amen. And we need to be obedient to what He tells us. Amen. So praise God. I'm excited. I don't know about you. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. This past Wednesday, we had a, our first Bible study. And I just wanted to invite you to join us. Come and be with us in Bible study. You know, it's, hey, come ready to receive. Amen. Come prepared. We have awesome Bible study. I need to grow. You know what? Uh, we don't want to stay baby Christians the rest of our lives. We want to grow up. Amen. You know, that same devil is still kicking uh, your behind. <laughs> we got to change that around. He says he's under our feet. He's a defeated foe. So we we have to we have to grow up and mature in the things of God. That's a that's a wise that's a that's a wise word. We need to mature in the things of God. We need to mature in in, in the Word of God. Amen. So you know, the only way you're gonna do that is opening your Bible and getting in it. Yes. And getting in you. Amen. You want to be like a sponge. Yes. Amen. See yourself that way. Man, when you have something 
You can use a sponge as a great tool, you know, but it's just going to suck up all that stuff. We need to do that with the Word of God. Yes. Just suck it all up. Amen. Amen. And you know, it's in there. And when you need it, it's going to come out. Amen. Praise, <laughs> Praise God. God. See yourself that we walk in faith. We have a couple of things here. Walk by faith, not by sight. You That's know what? It. When you feed your faith, fears have to go. That's it. Amen. He's not giving us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Sound I'm going to step out in faith every time I walk where he wants me to go. Another one says, let your faith be bigger than your fears. Mm -hmm. How are you going to get your faith bigger than your fears? Mm -hmm. you got to get a word in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. But it's okay to be in there, but if you ain't going to speak it out, it's no good. That's it. you got to speak it out. You have to get it out. And don't say, I can't. Mm. He didn't say that. He says, I can I do can. all things through Christ yes. who strengthens me. And I'm going to speak it out, especially the enemy comes around. <laughs> he ain't going to want to hang out with me no more. So victory is mine. Are you confessing this? Do you have the victory? It's up to you. It's a choice you have to make. Yeah. The Bible says we can have victory in Him. It says victory in Jesus. Mm -hmm. But you have to get it in you and you got to speak it out. Amen. Let me take this yeah. off. Thank you, Lord. And uh, let's go. It says victory in Jesus. Believers daily march in song. Hey, I'm a soldier for God. I'm going to march every day. And you know what my song is? Victory in Jesus. Amen. I'm going to have victory in Jesus. Mm -hmm. the victory is mine daily when I put on faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ instead of, instead of my own. Amen. I'm not just going on my own, you know, when he, he knows when you're full of Him. Mm -hmm. The enemy knows when you're full of God. Amen. He sees you coming and he's going to back off. Mm -hmm. Amen. Especially you go confessing mm -hmm. and saying, praise God, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice, rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. Instead of saying, oh man, another day, man, I hate this. I <laughs> hate going to work. I hate that. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Well, you're just giving the enemy some strength. Yeah. You're giving him, you know, the right and opening doors for him to come and get in. Yeah. Say, so, well, I'm going to shut them doors. You know, sometimes when the flesh wants to talk, sometimes you just got to tell it, be quiet. Yeah. Yeah. Put a guard on your mouth. Yes. It ain't coming out. Amen. Remember, you're a tri being, spirit, soul, and you live in this body. So your spirit, you feed the word of God, your soul, your mind, will, and emotions, you renew with the word of God. So when yeah. the flesh cries out and says, I want to be lazy, I don't want to do anything, your spirit man and your renewed mind yes. says, get up, we're going. That's it. Woo! That's we're going it. to church. <laughs> Praise yeah. God. Woo, I shocked a few of you. <laughs> 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 Victory is my daily, amen. Victory begins with believing God's word and stepping up in faith. Man, you need to write that somewhere, you know. I'm stepping out in faith. Daily. And I'm gonna step out with him, in him. Amen. Praise God. It doesn't matter what the circumstances, it doesn't matter the conditions, the situations that surrounding the environment. His word says. This is the day I've given you. Yeah, yeah. I, mm -hmm. King James says, we will rejoice and be glad in it. But I change that to I or Jose is mm -hmm. going to rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. Wait a minute, don't you know what's happening? Mm. Man, you got all these friends coming around saying, man, doom and gloom. That's it. <laughs> I'm not receiving that. That's it. I'm pressing on. Greater is he that's in me mm -hmm. than he that's in the world. That's Amen. It. So. I'm going out to spread the good news yes. of the gospel, not the gossip of the world. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God, I'm not receiving that. Woo, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting excited. Are you? <laughs> it doesn't matter the circumstances. It looks like uh, the cares and the uh, worries and the anxieties, the problems. You've heard a few of them. Do you have a few of them? Mm -hmm. Well, it's time you give it away. Mm -hmm. Don't keep it. Yes. Why are you still holding on to it? Mm -hmm. Here's another one. A past. The past is gone. Oh, yes. Don't be a prisoner of the past. We was just passing through. Amen. Yes. Though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I'll fear no, no evil. evil. Amen. Why? Because he's with me. He says he never leaves me, nor forsakes me. Mm -hmm. Woo, hallelujah. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what the odds look like. That's it. Remember David and Goliath? Mm-hmm. When David, little, little guy, 
Goliath giant. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you're a little, little guy, little person, mm -hmm. and you see your giant problems, mm -hmm. man, there's no match. Mm -hmm. But you don't know who I am in Christ. You don't know who's back in me. Mm -hmm. God is with me. Yes. David said, you know, God is with me. Mm -hmm. He delivered me from the bear. He delivered me from the lion. Yes. And guess what? All them other battles. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to press on and say, I don't care what kind of giant you are. I'm going to cut your head off. Mm -hmm. Amen. Whatever giants you have, yours are different than mine. You know, yeah. whatever they happen yeah. to be. It yeah. could be your health. It could be yeah. finances. It could be whatever. Mm -hmm. Still, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. I wrote this down, so I'll read it to you again. Psalms 118, 24, New King James. says, this is the day the Lord hath made. Yes. Thank God I got a wake-up call this morning. Amen. How about you? Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Yes. I've got a mission today. Mm -hmm. We're on a mission. We're on a call today. Yes. Where, what is it you want me to do, Lord? Mm -hmm. Amen. Spend time with him. First, thank you for waking you up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Woo! Hallelujah. He says, we, I will rejoice and be glad in you. Mm -hmm. We're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory. Yes, yes. Amen. I'm on a victory side. I'm on a winning side. Amen. And I'm going to fight from the winning side. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm not just looking for the victory. I have victory in yes. him. Amen. Victory in Jesus. Yes. Because of what Jesus has already done for us. Yes. He paid it all. Yes, Amen. He paid it all. It's all paid in full. Listen to this, win or lose, positive or negative, mm -hmm. life or death, is your choice. Yeah. You choose. Don't let nobody choose for you. Yeah. You choose. Why? You gotta renew your mind and you gotta get things right and you gotta speak the right things. And I'm gonna have victory. Victory is mine. Yes. The word of God says it, I'm gonna confess it. And I'm going to stand on the word. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I have to put a Bible on the floor and stand on it. I'm standing on the word of God. Amen. I know you've never done that before. Right? <laughs> Woo. Say, man, that pastor is crazy. <laughs> let's, let's, uh, let's open our Bibles. Who I shocked you up. <laughs> let's open our Bibles to Proverbs 18.21. Very familiar scripture. Amen. Miss Gloria, there's Bibles in the back if you don't have one. Anybody need a Bible? Lord, got her Bible. Anybody need a Bible? Amen. You, you know, a soldier, a soldier, good soldier of God always has their yeah. swords with them. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I forgot where I was going. 18, oh, good. Thank you. I was just testing you. Yeah. <laughs> Proverbs 18, 21 says what? Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Listen. Did you read that? And uh, it says, in the power of the tongue. What do you do with the tongue? The tongue, you speak, right? So there's power in the words you speak. So life and death are in the words that you speak. So you be careful. Amen. And it says, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. The King, I mean, the Amplified says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that indulge in it shall eat the fruits of it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for death and life. So, guess what? You choose. Yes. Positive, negative, mm -hmm. win, lose is your choice. You yes. can have victory in Jesus daily. Yes. This is, again, your choice. Amen. Yes. I choose. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, you know, we might leave the crowd behind because they want to do something different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be defeated because of somebody. Or the crowd, or friends, you know. Yes. I'm gonna press on. Victory is mine. Knowing His word is knowing the truth. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. Another scripture. Let's turn to John. Look at John and chapter eight and verse thirty-two. All these, you know, but it's okay. You know, open it up and go over it. Review yes. it. Review it. Review it. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Woo, hallelujah. I remember when you took your driving test? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> You study and study and study and review and review. <laughs> Chapter eight, what verse? Chapter eight, verse thirty-two. All, all the word is good. Yes. And uh, anyway, mine's a red. I don't know about yours. Jesus is speaking, mm -hmm. and he says, "And ye shall know the truth, mm 
and the truth shall make you free. If you have King James, it's not capitalized. But if you look at the Amplified, it goes like this. You will know the truth. Truth is capitalized. Mm -hmm. Capital T. Mm -hmm. Okay? And the truth, again, capital T, will set you free. Amen? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> you will know the truth. Yes. Open the word is yes. the truth. The word is the truth. Yes. The word of God. And that's him. Mm -hmm. Amen? And you get him in you, and you're going to speak him out. You're going to speak his word out. And it's, 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 it's going to set you free. Yes. I know the truth now. I'm not confessing the negative stuff. I'm not confessing what the world is saying. I'm confessing what the Word of God says. We need to clean up ourselves a little bit here. Amen. And start doing the right things. Saying the right things. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. I told you this before. And you need to write this down again. <laughs> You're the closest thing to a Bible some people would ever see or hear or be close to. They may never step into a building. But they'll... Be close to you and they'll say man that person just like Christ that person blessed me well yeah God was using that person to bless you and there was him there in the presence they felt the presence amen they felt the presence just like when that lady with the issue of blood touched Christ she says mm -hmm. if I can only touch the hem of his yes, garment the, of his garment. the man ain't walking he's Jesus walking with his disciples and there's a big crowd they all want to hear they all want to see him and everybody's bumping into him and there's a lady from behind sneaks yes. and touches <laughs> the hem of his garment mm -hmm. and Jesus says stop he says he didn't say that that's what I said <laughs> he says he says somebody touched me the disciples say what I mean, there's all kinds of people touching you. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of people bumping into you. Yeah. He knew virtue went yes. out. I said, wow, man. He felt that anointing. We saw some funnies mm -hmm. last night. And uh, some dogs went and tried to sniff on this uh, hot fence. And their nose touched the charged <laughs> fence. And they took mm -hmm. off quick. Amen. And that's what the enemy needs to do yes. when it touches you. I am charged. I am full of power. I am full of God's power. And when the enemy comes and he touches you, man, he says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, he will flee from you. Amen. Amen. He'll flee from you. Gone. He's gone. But Amen. you gotta stay charged up. Hello. <laughs> Hallelujah. Ooh, man, I don't think we're gonna get through all this. That's all right. <laughs> The King James uh, 832 says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. He's going to make you free, listen, from mindsets, from traditions, the way uh, people uh, see things, the way you was told, it's got to be done like this. No, no. It's got to be done the way the Word of God says yes, so. Yes. It's got to be done His way, yes, not, yes. Your way. not your way. Amen. But people will say, you know, hey, it's got to be like this. No, mm -hmm. that's men's ways. Mm -hmm. That's religion. Mm -hmm. A little, a whole lot of man-made rules mm -hmm. that you'll never fulfill or accomplish, yes, yes. and a little bit of God. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that ain't going to work. First John four five uh, four and five. 1 John chapter 5, verses 4 and 5, King James. And whosoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Even our faith. Verse 5 says, Who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen? Amen. So you can be an overcomer also. Overcome yeah. the world. Jesus did it. So can we. Yes. Through him. Amen. It says it. the joy of the Lord is my strength. Yes, it is. And I'm going to have, I'm going to be an overcomer. Mm -hmm. Because the word of God says so. You know, the world stopped you, people stopped you, and mm -hmm. says you cannot do that. Mm -hmm. No, you can't be this. No, mm -hmm. you know, you're no good. You're mm -hmm. nobody. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I'm going to start confessing the right things now. Mm -hmm. So I am somebody. You know, yes. God called me, Thank anointed you. me, mm -hmm. and put me on a mission. Mm -hmm. And he put in me everything I need That's to it. complete my mission. That's it. And he called me to be a winner, mm -hmm. not a loser. That's it. And I'm not here to please people or please the world. I'm here to please God. Yes. So I'm going to do my best 
to do what he's called me to do. Yes. And then when I need instruction, I go to his word. Well, I go to him and, and spend time with him. Amen. Come on, say amen, amen or oh amen. Amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Had a couple of good songs. This one, I, I, was, I was so excited I missed them. <laughs> but we sang the praise team. They led us to a beautiful song today. Victory in Jesus. Man, you can sing that all the time. Victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. We didn't and, sing that one. No, I know, but it's, oh, it's a song. Oh, yes. <laughs> and victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today, today yes. is mine. You know, you can sing it to yourself, mm -hmm. but you know what? When you speak it out, yes. you're, you're going to hear it. Your soul is going to hear it, and it's going to put a, a smile on your face. And some yes. of us really need to smile more than that. <laughs> <All right. laughs> <laughs> and the enemy is going to hear it. Uh -huh. Amen. Remember, we fight a spiritual battle. Yes. And if you're not in the Word of God, you lose. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you got to be in the Word and yes. stay in the Word. You know, mm -hmm. you cannot defeat the enemy. You cannot defeat a spiritual uh, w with your flesh. Yes. You got to be in the Word. In Amen. The word. You got to be in the Word of God. Praise God. So it's a spiritual battle. Yes. So we have to be in the Word. Mm. Woo! Praise the Lord. If you think you're fighting a losing battle, fear not. Now you can have victory in Jesus. Mm. Learn to stand on His victory. Mm. Learn to be the winner He's called you to be. He didn't call you to be a loser. He called you to be a winner. Yeah. And I'm joining the winning team. I accepted Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Some of you have. So it's best that you do it now. He's never too late, you know. That's you can you can just uh, confess, and I'll give you opportunity at the end, or you can do it right now. All you have to do is say, "Lord, I'll sin against you. I repent. Come in my life, be my Lord and Savior." And He's not going to deny you. That's it. He's going to come in your life, and you're going to make a change. Yeah. You know, change is good. Yes, you know, is. I was going that way. Now I'm going this other way. Mm -hmm. I was going the devil's way. Now I'm going God's way. Mm -hmm. Praise God! I just changed directions. I did it about face. Yes. Yes. And it shows how to do that real well in the service. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Learn to stand on his victory. Yes. Win. And the truth, there's freedom. Says mm -hmm. the truth sets you free. Mm -hmm. I have freedom now since yes. I am with him. Amen. So praise God. Woo, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Ephesians, you can mark this. I don't think we're gonna read the whole thing, but Ephesians six, chapter uh excuse me, chapter six, verses ten through eight. It talks about put on the whole armor of God. Yes, yes. Amen. Let's just read a few things here. It says, finally, my brethren, be strong in no, me. No, the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Mm -hmm. So you will be strong in him, not in yourself, yes. not, not, not in his brother so-and-so or sister mm -hmm. so-and-so. Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> it says, put on the whole armor of God that you yes. may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. That's it. It's telling us right then who you yes. fight. You fight. You, you stand against the wiles of the devil. Mm. And here is right here. You know, highlight this, underline this, and make sure that you know this. Mm. Because, you know, you've been fighting your neighbor. You've been fighting brother so-and-so, sister so-and-so. Mm. No. This is who you fight right here. Yeah. Right. For we are wrestled not against flesh and blood. See, all of us, we're flesh and blood. Yeah, yeah. And it tells us right here, we do not uh, wrestle against flesh and blood. That's it. But against principalities, yes. against powers, against rules of darkness of this spiritual. age, against spiritual wickedness, yeah. spiritual host, uh, excuse me, against uh, spiritual host of uh, wickedness in high places. Mm -hmm. I'm reading from the New King James. Okay. Therefore, take up on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand in the evil day. Yes. And you haven't done all to stand, do what? Stand. Stand. Yes. Amen. You know, <laughs> if you're having problems standing, mm. get on your knees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you're having problems standing, then yeah. get on your knees. Amen. God will meet you wherever you are. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> but it says, when you've done all you can do to stand, stand, therefore, and here's what he wants us to do. Yes. Gird your loins with the truth. With the truth. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Yes. And having shot your 
feet with, with the preparation of gospel, uh, gospel of peace. Yes. Above all, taking the shield of faith, which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts yes. of the wicked one. See, he's, he's shooting these things at you all the time. Yes, all is. these fiery darts are coming at mm -hmm. you. But you got your shield of faith. Uh, yes. Amen. I'm under God's umbrella of protection. Yes. The enemy can't reach me unless you go confessing the wrong things mm. or walk away from mm. his protection. All right. Then you're in the enemy's ground. Mm. So look out. You know, you went looking for him. You found him. He, yeah. he, he, you're going to get him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is yes. the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Being yes. watchful of this in with all perseverance and, and supplication yes. for all saints. Awesome. So fear not, church. Mm. If you feel the cares, the worries of the world, defeated, lonely, hopeless, mm. falsely accused, oh you feel the world is at its end, remember mm -hmm. <laughs> Second Timothy 2, uh, excuse me, uh, Second Timothy 1, 7 mm -hmm. says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and of a sound mm. mind. Amen? Yes. The enemy is going to come at you, and he's going to use whoever yes. is unsaved against yes. you all the time. Mm -hmm. And they're going to come against you. And he's going to use anyone in it that is not saved. Mm -hmm. Know that Jesus paid the full price, and he is your sure victory. Yes, he is. David was sure. Yeah. You know, you got a kid going against a grown giant. Mm. Amen. So, you know, let me see. Hopefully, I'll say this and it'll come out right. <laughs> but your maturity in Christ has nothing to do with your age. That's it. That's it. Uh -huh. Amen. That's it. Do you get this? Mm -hmm. You could have mm -hmm. a little kid mm -hmm. full of God. Yeah. And you could have an yeah. older person mm -hmm. that just came to Christ. Right. Right. And he is more mature in the, in the Word of God than this mature person. Right, mm -hmm. right. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> let's 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 remember this, okay? Just because you see a kid, well, he's just a not an old kid, you know. No, until no. you he open his mouth or she opened his mouth and start confessing the word of God say, Whoa, what happened? Well, remember let's let's remember this. Mm -hmm. But David went against his giant. Mm -hmm. You could do the same thing. Yes. You go against your giants. Whatever giants happen to come against you. That's amen. It. New giants coming at you all the time, mm -hmm. but still, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I put this in my, uh, I think Jonah screamed that when, when, when he uh, was in the belly of the whale or the belly of the big fish. <laughs> Jesus says, go to Nineveh. I said, no, I'm not. <laughs> and you went the other way. And he was in the ship, and man, there's all kinds of storms, giant storms rose up. Yeah. And he even went to the captain of the boat and says, you know why you're having these storms? He says, because of me. <laughs> he says, you know what? He even told him what to do. He said, you throw me overboard and your mess is over. And you know, <laughs> your storm is over. All you have to do is throw me over. And guess what? They did. <laughs> they threw him overboard. Now he's got a bigger problem. He ends up in the belly of a big fish. Yes. And I'm sure he's saying, Lord, just get me out of here. And I'll go where you want me to go, okay? Some of us have done this here. I don't want to get drunk anymore. I'm not going to do this anymore. Just get me out of this one yeah. this time, you know? Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? He says, oh, okay, he's going to be obedient now. So the fish went and spit him out in the shores of Nineveh. Yeah. I say, praise God. <laughs> What about the three Hebrew children? Have you read the story? Mm -hmm. Amen. They threw them in the in, in, a, in the fire, fire and furnace. Yes. I know you never been there, <laughs> but they threw three children in, in the fire and furnace. Mm -hmm. And those that threw it, it was so hot. The ones that threw them in were consumed. Yes. And then all of a sudden they're watching. You know, <laughs> they're watching them. They said, wait a minute, we threw three and now there's four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what mess have you gotten in? Mm -hmm. And God got you out. Yes. You was by yourself, but he was with you. Yeah. 
Amen. And he brought you and he saw you through this. Amen. Man, I saw the car, man. It, the truck was a wreck. Mm -hmm. I've been in one. It was a mess. It was the truck was destroyed. And here I am still preaching the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. You see the you see the vehicle? Said, how many died in this vehicle? Mm -hmm. Nobody. God mm -hmm. saw us through. He was with us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Listen, some of us have this. I don't know. Lord put it in my heart, my spirit, so I'm going to say it, okay? But when they came to arrest Jesus, <laughs> Peter was so, he says, you know, hey, if they come and take you, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bite them. You know, I'll do whatever, man. He even went and cut somebody's ear off, you know. Mm -hmm. Still, when they came, when time came, they came to take Jesus. Mm -hmm. He says, you're one of them too. He said, no, he's one of them too. He said, no, I'm not. <laughs> Fighting Peter, you know. Strong Peter. Mm -hmm. Man of God. He says, no, I'm not. Three times. Mm -hmm. Jesus told him, he says, before this night's over, he said, you'll deny me three times. Mm -hmm. He said, no, I'm not. You know, mm -hmm. In the flesh, I can fight anything. Mm -hmm. It didn't work out. Mm -hmm. Amen. He denied him three times. Yeah, yeah. And Jesus could have said, you know what? I'm just ripped the book about you. I'm just throwing you away. I've forgotten about you. Mm -mm. You're gone. You're in the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. He says, no. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. Jesus used Peter. Yes, he did. Acts, Acts 4, excuse me, mm -hmm. Acts chapter 2, verses uh, 41. And this is the Amplified. So then those that accepted his message were baptized and on that day 3,000 souls were added mm -hmm. to the body of Christ yes. or the body of believers yes. Amen. Amen Jesus didn't forget about people no, he didn't. and didn't throw them away and say hey yes, you he deny did. me I'm going to mm -hmm. forget about you mm -hmm. some of us have done things mm -hmm. and somebody people came around and told you God can't use you anymore mm -hmm. you're no good God has just washed his hands away mm -hmm. and, and, and forgot about you no, no he didn't <laughs> He's waiting for you to say, Lord, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And get up and press on with yes, what yes. I've called you to do. Amen. Amen. So the first time there was 3,000. And then mm -hmm. a few few chapters up, Acts 4.4, 4, another 5,000 men were saved. Mm -hmm. Listen to this. I know it's not in the Bible. But it says not including women and children. Mm -hmm. 5,000. A total number of souls saved was probably more around 10 to 15,000. Oh, my God. Peter, I mean, God used Peter. Mm -hmm. He could have said, I want nothing to do with you anymore. Mm -hmm. He could have told me that. He could have told you that. But not, not him. Mm -hmm. And he didn't say that to you. You heard it from somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. You heard it from men. You mm -hmm. heard it from a woman. They said, you know, hey, God can't use you anymore. Mm -hmm. Show me scripture. Yeah. Where in the Bible does it say this? I have to do this. Or where does it say that he took his hands off? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No. If you can't show me a scripture, mm -hmm. I'm just going to put that on the shelf and say, delete. <laughs> yes. Amen. You need to do the same thing. Yeah. Quit living in the past. It's that time is. to move on. Mm -hmm. It's time to Jesus. go on. Press yeah. on. He's waiting for you to rise up yeah. and go. You know, when they, <laughs> Jesus completed his mission <clears throat> and he was at the cross and he could have told the father take me mm -hmm. I don't want to complete this mm -hmm. or he could have just said don't forgive him just mm -hmm. hold this against him yeah, yeah. but he didn't no, he, he didn't. says forgive them yes. before he went to the father he told him forgive yes. forgive yes. and we need to do the same thing we haven't even gone through what he went through that's it amen come on now amen or oh me that's right. amen. <laughs> so fifth 5,000 men, men were saved, not including women and children. Yeah. <laughs> More like 10 to 15,000. But church, there's always hope for you and me. Mm -hmm. Always hope for yes. us. Yes. Amen. First Timothy chapter 12 says this in the Amplified. Fight the good fight of faith mm -hmm. in the conflict with evil. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called and for which you made the good confession of faith in the presence of so many witnesses. Fight the good fight of faith 
on a daily basis mm -hmm. not just once in a while it's going to be a daily basis you're going to be tested amen, amen. remember john 10 10 mm -hmm. if you don't remember i'll remind you <laughs> mm -hmm. john 10 10 says the enemy yes. the devil comes, comes to only but to kill steal kill and destroy mm -hmm. amen the, that's what the enemy wants with you mm -hmm. steal kill destroy you period mm -hmm. Jesus yes. says, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. I want to be on his side. Yes. I want to be on Jesus' side, yes. not the enemy's side. So we fight the good fight of faith mm -hmm. daily. Man, that's a, that's a word we need to learn. Yes. Daily. Serve him daily. Press on daily. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo. Amen. We also fight a spiritual battle daily. The mind, the battlefield of the mind. Oh, so keep your mind renewed mm -hmm. at all times. How many times? Oh, it, nice. As many times as it takes. Mm -hmm. Renew my mind with the mm -hmm. Word of God. Yes. Amen. You got. You have to do it. If not, you're going to be thinking negative things. Right. Amen. And you're going to be acting and, and falling aside. You're going to be acting like the world and doing worldly things. Mm -hmm. I say, no, i got to renew my mind. Mm -hmm. i got to get it out for me. i got to get yes. it out for me. Give yourself a spiritual bath with yes. the Word of God. Word of Renew God. your mind with the Word of God. Yes. Man. Come on. Man. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty good, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> Romans 12, yes. 1 and 2 says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, yes. holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable, reasonable service. service. And mm -hmm. verse 2 says, mm -hmm. And do not be conformed mm -hmm. to this world. Listen. Right. Conformed. Imitate. Right. In Ephesians uh, chapter 5, verses 1 and 2, mm -hmm. in the Amplified, it says to imitate mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes. It be imitator of Christ. your Heavenly mm -hmm. Father. Imitate Him. Mm -hmm. Here it says, do not be conformed. Yes. Don't imitate the world. Don't yes. obey the world. Don't adapt to the world. Don't fit in with the world. And don't follow the crowd. Mm -hmm. You know, all this crowd was going this way, so mm -hmm. I went that way. Yeah. Well, you're going the wrong way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, sometimes you may be the only one going the right way. That's it. Amen. I'm sorry, but uh, just because they're going the wrong way don't mean I got to go. That's right. That's Amen. right. And, uh, man, mm -hmm. come on now. Amen. So, conform, imitate, obey, adapt, fit in, or follow the crowd, but be transformed. Now, transform is to be changed, yes. Yes. to be altered, yes. to be different, mm. to be improved, yeah. to be new. That's Amen. Good. Hallelujah. Let's go to Second Chronicles. <laughs> Second Chronicles five, chapter five, verse seventeen. Mm. Everybody knows it. That's okay. Oh boy. We're just giving ourselves a, a spiritual yes, bath here. Second Chronicles. Uh, excuse me, Second Corinthians. Oh. <laughs> I'm just testing you. I'm just testing you. Second Corinthians. Uh, but I went to Chronicle. I mean uh, Corinthians. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians uh, chapter five, verse seventeen. Okay. It says, Therefore, if any man, woman, child be in Christ he is what a new creature old things are passed, passed away. away behold all, all things have become, become new. new so we are transformed yes we are changed we are altered we're different we're improved mm -hmm. and we are new mm -hmm. see yourself this way Amen. see yourself this way see yourself the way he sees you mm -hmm. he sees you a new person mm -hmm. remember the tri being yeah. Amen. Remember the try being. You are spirit. Yes. You have a soul, yes. mind, will, and emotions. And you live in a body. The only thing I see about you and the only thing you see about me is the physical body. That's all we can see. But he says when you come to Christ, you're a new creature. Yes. You have a spiritual born birth. Mm -hmm. You were born again mm -hmm. spiritually. Yeah. So that involves your spirit and your mind. your mind, your soul. Yes, Amen. So people can't see that because they can't see in the spirit unless God allows them to. Mm -hmm. But they can't see in the spirit. They still see you. Say, oh, that's just so and so. Mm -hmm. 
No, but I'm a new person. And you know your words, your actions are going to prove that you're different because you're no longer with the crowd because you're no longer doing those things you used to do. You're doing the habits or doing the sin you used to do. I'm a new person in Christ. And that's the way he sees you now. And he's forgotten about it. And he's forgiven you about it. So we need to do the same thing. We need to forgive and forget. And let it go. But the enemy is going to bring it back to your mind. That's where he attacks. The battlefield is the mind. He's going to bring it back. And he's going to use people. And things or whatever. To bring it back for you. Say wait a minute. Yes. You're telling the wrong person. I gave it to my God. So if you got problems with that, you bring it to him. Mm -hmm. He's not. <laughs> and don't you receive it anymore. Just That's let it go and say, hey, I gave it. I'm not going there no more. That's it. Let it go. Whoo, hallelujah. Praise God. By renewing your mind that you may prove what is good and acceptable, acceptable. and perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. Instead, instead, meditate on these things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Philippians. Philippians 4. Chapter, chapter 4, verse 8. Mm -hmm. It says, finally, my brethren, whatever things are true, whatever mm -hmm. things are noble, whatever yes. things are just, whatever things are pure, yes. whatever things are lovely, mm -hmm. whatever things are of good report, yes. if there be any virtue in any, uh -huh. if there, if, if there is any virtue in, if there is the anything things. praiseworthy, meditate on yes. these things. Think on these things. Amen. Meditate on these things. This is New King James. Okay. Philippians 4 and 8. This is a list of things that will transform you. A renewed, a change, an altar, a revised, or a correction mm -hmm. of the mind of a Christian. Mm -hmm. Our human flesh and the whispers of Satan's war mm -hmm. against the mind. But Paul gives a solid instruction of winning the battle of the mind. Yes. Renew it with yes. the word of God. Again, the enemy attacks the mind. He uh -huh. tries to put thoughts there and bring up thoughts there that'll try to pull you back. He puts enough bait on there mm -hmm. for you to get on, take the bait and, yeah. and fall back. That's it. That's but it. You need to clean it up mm -hmm. and say, no, I've mm -hmm. been delivered from all this. Mm -hmm. I'm not going back to this. That's Amen. It. Delete, yeah. delete, delete, delete. Praise and God. thanks on Think, think on things that are true, noble, just, pure, lovely, of good report. Meditate on these things. Amen. Yes. Woo. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we're almost, almost there. First Corinthians, uh, chapter fifteen, verses fifty-seven and fifty-eight from the easy to read version says, "But we thank God who gives us the victory." Yes. Through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So dear brothers and sisters. Stand strong. Don't let anything change you. That's Always right. give yourself fully to the work of the Lord. You know that your work is. Yes. The Lord is never wasted. Amen. So my daily attitude is this. Victory in Jesus. Amen. Victory is mine. Yes. Amen. I need to confess it. Don't just think it. Speak it out. Yeah. I want to hear it. Sometimes Patricia and I, we do that. Say, I need to speak it out. Praise God. You know what? My body's telling me that it's sick. My body's telling me it's hurting here. My body's telling me this and this and this. And I'm going to say, by Jesus Christ, I am healed. Amen. Amen. That's what I need to hear. Amen. I'm not going to side with my body because I'll be defeated all day long. My knees are hurting. <laughs> my back is hurting. I understand that. But what is the word of God says? By Jesus Christ, I am healed. Uh -huh. And that's what I want. I'm going to speak it out so I can hear it also. And I'm going to speak it out because the spirit realms can hear it also. Amen. And I'm going to say, body, line up with the word of God. Amen. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Yes. It's okay to say those things. I'm speaking the word of God. Is the word of God false? No. So I'm standing on the word of God. Yes, we're getting older. <laughs> and we got aches and pains. <laughs> Snap, crackle, and pop, you know. <laughs> My favorite cereals. <laughs> but still, I say, hey. <laughs> I still have to confess the word of God, no matter what. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Amen. 
My daily attitude is victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. We sang a beautiful song this morning. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind. He can get behind you or he can get under your feet. That's where he belongs. But you have to tell him. Yes. He's so stupid, he don't remember. Yes. And don't get tired of telling him. Mm. Love is mine. Joy is mine. Peace is mine. Happiness mm. is mine. Yes, it is. Prosperity is mine. Yes. I'm going to sing it. I'm going to say it. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to say it. I'm going to confess it. Yeah. Another word. Confess, speak, whatever. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say it. Yes. And I want to hear it. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we tell ourselves so many negative things and we speak them out. And we don't mind saying those things. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to saying the word of God, mm -hmm. I don't want anybody, nobody to hear mm -hmm. this, you know. I don't want to hear it. Mm -hmm. Why not? We're to confess the word, not hold it in. Right. It says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. I want those rivers of living water coming out of me. I want the word flowing out of me. Same with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Speak it out, speak it out, speak it out. Daily. Yes. Every promise in the Bible can be yours today. Yes. God cannot lie. So every time he says he's going mm -hmm. to do something, mm -hmm. count on it. He yes. promised. Amen. Amen. A lot of times we put our, well, <laughs> when we pray sometimes, we go and dump and run. Mm -hmm. And we don't wait <laughs> to whatever he says to say. Mm -hmm. You know, intimate time okay. is you wait until you hear. Yes. Amen. But a lot of times we just deliver one way. Mm -hmm. You don't call somebody and just blah, 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 and then hang up. Well, you didn't wait for them to answer you back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They don't call you back and they'll say something. Yeah. <laughs> I have a prayer request, Pastor. Who? Uh, Rusty wants us to pray for Dixie White. That's uh, John Johnson's aunt. She's 102. She's in the hospital in El Paso. Wow. Dixie White? Mm -hmm. Father, we, yes. lift, we lift up Dixie White to you yes. right now, Father God. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray, Father, Father, that you touch your body, Lord, yes. Father God. Thank you. No malfunctions in that body. Yes. Lord, let everything function the way you created it to yes. function, Father. We speak healing in that body right now in the name yes. of Jesus. We're going to side with with our brother and I agree with our brother right now Father God yes. and anyone in the sound of my voice right now Father yes. that needs a touch of God we pray healing right now over her in Jesus precious name Father take all cares and all concerns in Jesus name yes. Amen. Amen praise God Amen. confess constantly the victory yes. really is yours say victory is mine yes, can you say mine. victory, victory is, is mine victory. Amen praise God Lord. <laughs> so that's the song we sang. Victory is mine, victory is mine, victory today is mine. I told Satan, yes. get thee behind. Amen. I have to tell him. Mm -hmm. He don't know. He's going to hang out. Yeah. If you let him. <laughs> but don't let him. Get thee behind because victory today is mine. Yes. And you got to sing it, speak it, confess it, whatever you do. Yes. Say it. Amen. And sometimes yeah. when I was hanging out with the wrong crowds, yeah. I would talk and say, whatever they said or I confess things that would impress them mm -hmm. he may say wow look at the things he's saying yes but now mm -hmm. as born again believer <laughs> we we're saying to speak because they wow you're one of them right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> come out of your closet it's time to get out you know <laughs> step out of your boat whatever mm -hmm. but say it you know say hey praise yeah. God somebody needs prayer Mm -hmm. Step out and say, hey, God wants me to pray for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to lay hands on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Again, we're not fighting for victory. We're fighting from victory. Yes. Because of what Jesus has already Father. done for us. Mm -hmm. So have victory in Jesus daily. Yes. And speak it out daily. Victory right. is mine. Victory, victory is, mine. is mine. Amen. Praise mm -hmm. God. We all have a choice to make daily to yes. trust in Jesus and live in victory or trust in the flesh and be a victim mm. and oh live in defeat or fear mm -hmm. Jesus says be victorious mm -hmm. or be a victim yes and you're going to confess either one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm victorious in Christ. I'm big, I, I have victory in Jesus. Or are you going to just be victorious and start confessing the negative thing? I think I think I, we've pounded that long enough to know yeah. that I could I could speak life and yeah. death with this tongue. Yeah. There's power in the tongue. Power in your words that you speak. So you be careful not to speak the wrong things. Jesus is busy behind the scenes to bless you and show you favor. Sit at the see seated at the right hand of God, interceding for us. Mark 16, 19 says in the New Living Translation, when the Lord Jesus had finished talking with them, with his disciples, he was taken up into heaven yes. and set at the place of honor. You know where the place of honor is? Yes. He right said next to God. God at the right hand. Is seated at the right hand of God, interceding for us, yes. his children. Amen. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. I got Amen. gospel books all over me. <laughs> Romans 8 34 says, Romans chapter 8, verse 34 says in the New King James, Who is he who condemns? Mm -hmm. It is Christ who died, and yes. furthermore, is also risen. Yes. Who is even at the right hand of God, right. who also makes intercession for us. Yes. You know that us, that's me. Mm -hmm. That's you. Yeah. So you got to scratch that's that cool. and put your name there. It, God is interceding for me. Yes. Amen. So, man, this is good. Spiritual battle daily. Mm. The devil is working hard trying to stop everything and anything mm -hmm. he can to keep you from doing whatever God has called you to be. Amen. Amen. All of us have a call in our lives. Yes, we do. And the enemy is going to see to it or use anyone or distractions to stop you. Well, you know, I, don't, I didn't know he called me. He's called you. Yeah, yeah. You're not here by accident. That's it. You're not here by mistake. That's it. Amen. Mm -hmm. So get with your God mm -hmm. and <laughs> find out what it is he wants yeah. you to do. Amen. Again, John 10, 10 says, the, the thief, the devil, comes mm -hmm. not, excuse me, the thief, the devil, does not come except to steal and to mm -hmm. kill and to destroy. Yeah. So let's not be on his losing side. Mm -hmm. uh, side. Amen. We want to be on the winning side. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine an abundance of Jesus' favor raining down on us at all yes. times? He can so bless us abundantly. Yes. He says, I come that you might have Life. Life and have it more abundantly. Amen. So praise God. Woo! I'm going to stop there. Praise God. And just to know that victory is yours. Victory belongs to me. It says, victory is mine. Victory is always mine when I put my faith and trust mm -hmm. in the Lord's amazing ability instead Amen. of my own. Amen. Amen. I'm trusting Him. And put Him first. And keep Him first priority in your life. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Amen. Do you receive it, church? Yes. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Do you receive? I hope praise so. You, you have to receive it, you know. We're going to have fellowship in a few minutes. Yeah. And there's some good foods up there. And I know what? You're going to receive it because you're going to eat it. But you know, we, yeah. need, we need to eat the word also. We need to get it in us. Yes. And I want to receive, you know, don't just come and sit and say, well, hey, I went to church and no, I spent no. an hour and I don't know what he spoke about. I don't know what God said. Yeah. Now, that's not his problem. Yeah. That's my yeah. problem because <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. That's right. We, need, that's we right. need to pay attention. Amen. <laughs> you know, we used to teach children. And every time we said pay attention, if you were the first one to rise up, you would get a surprise. You would get a big prize. Yeah. yeah. That would make them be listening. When I say, hey, yeah. are you paying attention? And you yeah. rise up first. Uh -huh. They were listening. They, they the wanted word. to be first up. Uh -huh. Amen. So we need to come with an attitude of, of receiving every time. Yeah. Anytime you're with him, Lord, you know, just prepare yourselves to receive yes. whatever he has for you. Amen. He's got something for me. Uh -huh. I'm not letting go until uh -huh. he blesses me. Yes. That's the attitude you need to have. That's it. Amen. God's got something for me. I ain't leaving until He shares with me, until He gives me, until He blesses me. That's yeah. it. That's it. You know, hey, my attitude has changed. Before, I just used to come and blow time away and just leave. Say, hey, I've been to church. No. Remember, we are the church. 
We are the body of Christ. I didn't come to church. I came to a place where we assembled ourselves together. Amen. The, the church is us, the body of Christ, his children. Uh -huh. Amen. We are the church. Going yes. somewhere to happen for somebody. <laughs> let's, let's remember this, you know. And we didn't come to be entertained. We came to uh -huh. be empowered. Empowered. Amen. Amen. We, you know, as church, we don't need to be entertained like That's the world it. does. There's too much of that going on. No, on we now. come to be empowered, empowered with the word so we can go powerfully and share what God has mm -hmm. for his people Amen. or for the world. Amen. Thank you, There's Lord. a lot of people out there that still don't know Christ. Amen. So yes. I hope you receive, uh, you uh, listening and watching. Yes. If you never accepted Christ, now's the time, you know. It's never too late. All you need to do is say, Lord, <laughs> I've sinned against you. Come in my life, be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He's, he will. Mm -hmm. Amen. I don't care who says what, that God is not able to use you anymore. That's a lie. Mm -hmm. Show me scripture. Mm -hmm. Amen. So receive him and start changing your life and start maturing in the things of God. Study your Bible. Open your Bible. Study your Bible. Go to a place where they preach in the word of God and teaching the word of God. And sometimes, you know, when pastor teaches, you know, it hurts. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it blesses you, sometimes it encourages you, but sometimes correction hurts. Oh man, that was me. I ain't going back there because, you know. <laughs> no, so correction brings uh, growth, and we need to grow. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Let's remember that. Amen. If you need healing in your body, everybody within the sound of my voice or watching, yes, we just you. speak healing to your body in yes. the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes. You know what you, kind of healing you need. He says that by Jesus' stripes, You're we healed. are, we were healed. were healed. Amen. So just receive your healing. Thank you, Lord, that by Jesus' stripes, I am healed from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Any malfunctions in my body, I cancel right now in the name of Jesus. So body function the way God created you to function in yeah. Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. So I speak healing in my body. Amen. Yeah. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise Time to give. God. Those of you watching or listening and you want to give. Just go to our website, nbcbigben.com, and hit that donate button. Mm -hmm. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, uh, 79843. Yes. Amen. God loves you, and we love you. Amen. Be blessed. Praise God.